Matt Lenehan, Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. I'd like to be joined by Peter Fury. Um, Peter, I've known Matty a long time since he started his debut and know what he went through with the defeat. Since he's joined your gym, seems to have re-energised him. Here he is, the star of the show. He's here. Um, now, I know, I know the first performance maybe wasn't um, how he would have liked it, but that was night and day in there um, today against a tough, durable guy. You must be over the moon. Yeah, I am, because... Uh, we're seeing the potential. We know the potential's there. It's just unlocking it, and uh, he's got the potential. So he showed he showed uh, massive improvements tonight, and it's, it's good for his confidence as well. And because uh, he hasn't just we haven't just got a guy in there that's going to fall over. We've got somebody who's durable, and he didn't last. So good for his confidence. Hundred percent. And he has got this power. This you could tell the moment he landed the right hand in the first round. Um, his, his equilibrium, his opponent's equal, equilibrium, didn't seem to ever recover. And the second round, he came out, and you could tell it was almost the beginning of the end. How pleasing is it that he didn't almost smother his work? Um, he, he took his time, picked his shots, and it was a, it was a clean clinical performance. What he should be doing to that level of opponent? Yeah, because this, the difference is between now. It's a simple thing is, um, what can I say? Now, rather than trying to get rid of opponents with one shot, he's breaking them down. You know, it's that, it's that little hammer against a tree, knocking the bark off. Don't think you're going to get rid of people in one shot. You just let your natural power do the job, place your shots, get behind your boxing, and let it unfold. It'll unfold itself. It's a change of environment coming from edge, coming from up to your gym. It's a different way of working. Um, what's pleased you most about when you first got him to where he is now, the, the guy who's obviously just been in the ring and done a, done a very good job, an efficient job? What's the biggest improvement and what have you liked? I've liked everything about him. You know, I like his attitude. You know, he's, uh, he, knows, he owns his mistakes, uh, number one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, he's not, you can tell him what's what and he takes it. He doesn't get upset about it. He gets on with his job because he knows ultimately it's for his own good. Yeah. So, you know, we run a hard, we run a hard line gym. You know, it's yeah. not for the faint-hearted. Yeah. But you know, if you want to be a champion, it's water off a duck's back. Yeah. You know, and it is, he's proving all of that. What's important for him now then for the next sort of six to twelve months? Is it a case of just making sure he keeps fighting that he's not having maybe long extended breaks? Don't get me wrong, I know a break's good after a fight, but you know, keep him going and sort of build on this momentum now. So he's just back to back wins. We want to see him keep building and keep improving. Yeah, definitely. Let's get him uh, let him have a week's rest. He'll be back in the gym and on with the next one. But yeah, listen, I want all the fighters to be active, so it's good for me. So it, you know, every couple of months they need to be out, especially at this stage in the career. He's obviously been talked about about doing big things in the spot. I know it was only two rounds, one and a bit rounds in there. You mentioned I heard in um, Aki's interview for Boxing Now, shout out to them, um, that you'd like him to get someone maybe a bit more durable, take him four or five. How important is that for him at this point in his career so that he can get that season and he needs for fighting the top heavyweights? Yeah, that's what we want. We sh he showed spitefulness in there tonight. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, that's what we're looking for. But, you know, we just, ideally, he's getting rounds. That's all. We thought we were going to get rounds with this guy, to be fair. I was hoping four rounds, five rounds, but it never happened. Is that pleasing, though? Obviously, I know you want him to work, show the stuff he's been working on, but the fact that it's an early night and that it was a pretty good performance. I know you mentioned about the, you know, how to shrug the man off, but apart from that, all the boxes were ticked. I thought he did brilliant. He ticked a lot of boxes tonight. And he's on with the next one. So steady improvements all the time. But you know, he's making he's making big gains, Matt, mm -hmm. in the gym. So we're seeing it and now we're seeing it under the lights. It's one thing seeing it in the gym. That's seeing it under the lights and everybody's seeing it under the lights. That's look for some improvements again. Steady, steady work. When you look at, obviously, he's got the likes of um, Huey, obviously, who's back out to spar with. What are them spars like? How do they sort of marry up? Obviously, two different styles, two different personalities. What are them spars like in the gym? Good competitive rounds of it? Of course they are. You know, they're a team, and, you know, Huey helps Matt along. And, you know, and Matt's a good spar for anybody. You've got to be on your, you've got to be on your watch with Matt with, with the power he's got. So Matt can give anybody a good spar. A guy at six foot nine with agility, with speed, hand speed, he'll give anybody good rounds. Matt just needs now the experience. In terms of the heavyweight scene, heavyweight boxing is booming at the minute, and it's we're, in, we're coming into that era where it doesn't matter about taking a loss, bounce back, and whatever. Um, how far do you think he is? I know he's got a long way to go, but off really touching with them big names. Obviously, I know Salt Acres and things like that under the same management, I believe, as uh, as Matt. But they're the type of fighters who have been long talked about being in the ring with him. How far is he off them levels? 
Yeah, he's you know he's he's a uh, you know talent wise, it's always there, uh, but the experience isn't there. So we're just going to keep Matt going, keep him busy, getting good, solid, durable journeyman to, yeah. that he can learn off. He's still learning. He's young, heavyweight, mm-hmm. so he's got to be grown. He's got to be grown mentally and physically. So you, know, you wouldn't think getting more physical, but that's not what I'm exactly saying. But he's growing all the time. And obviously, I know you've got Huey coming out soon. You must be buzzing now for him, who's finally getting some form of roadmap, whereas he was had a long time out of the ring. I know I'm repeating myself from other interviews, but it's important to talk yeah, about yeah. it because he was frustrated before with wanting to get a fight, had the fight, and now he's got another, you know, straight away kind of thing. He's on a he's on a really good point in his career now. He is. He's on a good roll, and we're going to keep him busy. Um, hopefully, we can get him at least three fights for the remaining of the year. Is he going to be, once we get the end of this year out of the way, sort of touching borderline or in the mix with them other weights? We, we talk about the likes of a, a, a Dubois and um, your Hergovic's, obviously. I know he took a defeat um, to Dubois, but they're all in the mix. Do so you think, get this year out of the way and then off we go? You know what? Show me. Let's see what he does next week. Show me and we'll see. You don't show me, then we won't. Show me and we will. So that's where we're at. And lastly... Um, we believe next week, I've got to talk about it because I've got to ask you about it. Um, we believe Joshua and Dubois are going to get announced, we think. What do you make of that fight? Interesting one. Very interesting one. They can both punch, for sure. Um, you'd, you'd have to go with Joshua because he's got that experience mm-hmm. and he's got that sharpness and the speed. Mm-hmm. And he's, 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 he's mixed at that level as well, yeah. at a very high level. And, um, but he's also, Dubois has improved in his uh, last fights. Very much so. Yeah. So it's still a dangerous fight for Joshua. Yeah. You know, but you'd have to favour Joshua in it just for the sheer experience. But you know, yeah. Dubois is a big puncher mm-hmm. and the little gloves and anything can happen. 100% look, Peter. Uh, appreciate you giving us some of your time um, and letting us come to your gym the other month. It was good. We'll catch up yeah, again soon and we'll get James Dean on again and yeah, all the rest of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, appreciate your time. Anytime. You're welcome.